Yes, I'm in a radiation suit, so this week's episode of Medical Mavericks TV is all about radiation. Oh, I've got to get out of this. Hi everyone, Tom from Medical Mavericks here and I've got another episode of Medical Mavericks TV for you. Some bite-sized science bits to help your brain grow. And as you can see, I'm wearing this totally awesome radiation suit today. Um, and that's what we're going to talk about, radiation, because we've been taking this suit out to some medical physics events in schools recently and letting students wear this suit to try and experience what it's like to work in one. And a lot of the students have been asking, why do we have to protect ourselves from radiation and why is it so dangerous? So I thought I'd do a really short video on why radiation is so different. Uh, and we have to start off with our cells. Every single cell in our body has got what we call a nucleus, and this contains all our DNA. Okay, and I want you to think of your DNA as an instruction book for your cells. Okay, so you've got 46 chromosomes in your DNA, and I want you to think of those as 46 chapters in your book. Okay, and then all the lines, all the sentences are your genes, and then all the words are the bases that make up the genes in your book, okay? So, this instruction book that contains every single instruction for every single cell. So all cells in your body will read certain chapters. Every single chapter will be read by every single cell. So example would be how a cell divides and grows. Every single cell would read that chapter. But some cells, or specific cells, only read certain chapters. So like your stomach cells would only read the chapter and the sentences on how to produce uh, acid in your stomach. So an eye cell would not need to know that information, so it would, wouldn't read that chapter. Okay? So your bone marrow cells would read the chapter on how to make red blood cells. Okay? Does that make sense? So each chapter, or different sections of the diff diff different chapters, are only specific for certain cells. Okay? So radiation can basically rewrite and edit your genes, or these chapters and sentences in your book. Okay, so the important part here is probably how your cells grow and divide and then die. So if a cell grows and divides and then dies, it's replaced itself before it dies with the growth and replication. But if the DNA has been damaged by radiation, the sentences have been changed, so the cell can't divide and can't grow, when it does die, it hasn't created the new cells to, to replace itself. So over time, the tissues and organs that rely on those cells to build them uh, start to die off or start to fail because there are no new cells coming through. Uh, so radiation stops your cells from either growing or dividing or, or, or working properly because the instructions have all been rewritten and edited by the radiation. So what about cancer? Radiation can, can cause cancer as well. Um, and if we think about your genes that control cell growth, because cancers are lots of cells that are growing rapidly and dividing rapidly to create tumours, your genes have uh, your cells or your cells have genes that control cell growth. They act as brakes to slow them down, or they act as accelerators to speed them up. Uh, and radiation can turn off the brakes, so you don't have any brakes, and your cell growth is just uncontrolled. And you can have uh, the genes that control cell growth and accelerate it switched on. So an example of this would probably be uh, skin cancer with UV sunlight. The UV sunlight can turn off the brakes and switch on the acceleration. So your cells start to grow rapidly and you get these tumours being formed. So I hope you can see that radiation affects your genes. It can rewrite them, can edit them and can delete them. So your cells can grow uncontrollably or they don't function properly and you end up with organ death, which results in basically patient death. Not a very nice way to go. Uh, if you like this video, give it some social media love on here and here, and we'll talk to you again very soon.